This is the Timer Pro Professional video time study module. You can see here we've got time study, lean analysis, Kaizen and SMED. We're going to do a SMED for a change over here. And what we're going to do is just play the video so you can see what's happening here. It's four operators who are going to collapse a cage. One of the operators goes the wrong way around. This fellow here goes to the right when he probably should have gone to the left. So everyone else is waiting for him. And once he gets there, they're going to collapse a cage and push it in. And that's the end of the activity for the four operators. And then a stockman is going to arrive to remove the cage to storage. And we can see here when he reaches over for it, he's extending himself quite nastily. So he could actually have a back injury there, worker compensation claim. So that's not very good here. And then he's going to walk away backwards. And he could trip over something, hit his head and so forth. So a number of things going on here. If we just rewind the video here. And this time what we're going to do is play the video again, but watch the timing down here. This is where you can actually play the video. You can pause it. You can continue. You can play it in slow motion, go very slow, or you can play it fast all the way through. So you can complete control of the video here. And uh, what we've done here is we've actually recorded each of the different operators. You can see there's four operators and then there's a stockman involved. And we've actually recorded the time for each of their uh, interactions on the, uh, on the video here. Uh, in such a way that we've actually got uh, a listing for operator one, two, three, four, and the stockman. The guy that's causing the problem is operator three here. If I double click on his walk to, you see I forgot to slow down the tape, so I'll just put it back to normal here. Walk to grasp, cage and grasp. He's the fellow that goes to the right when he should have gone to the left. Everyone is waiting for him. And all we've done here is double click on the observation and it replays that observation for us here. And you can see I've got the total time for that, just over 11 seconds. And then what I do is I come over here to the right hand side and I say, I want to see a preview of this. So we've got all of the timings are here. Now we want to see the SMED preview. We click on this, give it a second or two. And it opens up the Timer Pro's uh, process analysis area. And you can see here that it's actually showing us each of the individual operators in the stock mine. Not only that, since it's coming from the video, if I double click on, if I single click on this uh, icon here, here's a preview of the task right here. And if I double click, it's actually going to play it for me. So again, you can see our, our operator number three going to the right when he should have gone to the left probably. Okay. Uh, other good uses of this, obviously you might want to talk to the stockman about the way he's leaning over. So we can double click on the load cage here and it will bring up and then you could talk to him about the, uh, the dangers of stretching like that uh, to get the uh, cage loaded to the uh, little trolley here. Okay, we'll stop that here. Uh, we might want to look at this in a Gantt chart. So we can click on the lean analysis here and click on the Gantt chart. And if I click on export to Gantt chart, this is a good example of how Timer Pro interacts with Excel. We're passing the information out to Excel and creating the Gantt chart directly in Excel here. And you can see here very obviously operator number three is the guy causing the problem. So what might we do in this case? Well, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to select this little grid that I have here. It shows me that the total work content is just over two minutes and the total cycle content so that cycle time is about 45 seconds. So what could we do? Well, obviously, if this fellow here went to the left, he might get there a little earlier. I'm going to click on that and grab one of the little handles here and I drag it down. Just by making that change here, let's say he gets it roughly the same time as everyone else. We've actually saved 6% in the total work time. Now, obviously, if he gets it earlier, the other guys wouldn't have to wait. So I'm going to click on each of these um, fillers, which is a wait time, and hit the delete key. And as I do that, you can see up the top right hand corner, my savings are getting greater. So now I've removed the uh, wait time from the other guys and you can see I've got about 26% saving. Now, if these guys finish earlier, then the stock line could arrive earlier. So we'll grab this chip here and drag it down and line it up with the top here. So you can see by making these changes, I've generated about a 33% reduction in work content and about a 20% reduction in the total cycle time. We then might want to show them the after effect of this. So we can click here and generate the same Gantt chart we saw a moment or two ago here. And you can see, pours it back into Excel. And now we've removed all the delay here and you get a far tighter process here. Just a good example how you can use the combination of the video 
time, time approach and the process analysis to improve your process.